Now we also Sayona, the Mobland Project. Trav, increased resource, 51.4 million tonne at 1.3% lithium from 30,000 metres of drilling. What's happening over there, mate? Yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty um, pretty interesting. Sayona's share price is up 6% on the day on this news. And the Moblin Mineral Resource is um, is their, their sort of growth project. It had a historic mineral resource there at at you know 12 million tons at 1.4 percent but it wasn't jaw compatible they've put this drilling in the ground and and come out with a pretty substantial increase on that number um which is you know from from 12 million tons to 51 million tons so that's quite quite large in and of itself you know the notable thing with this company is they just announced first production from the restart of their north american lithium project and that's the the joint venture um with piedmont you know say you want to have 75 percent and piedmont have 25 percent and those, um, like you know, at the moment, uh, product sales they're expected, you know, through the door from mid this year. Um, and the, you know, the company's guiding eighty five to one hundred fifteen thousand ounces of spodumene concentrate production in the, f- the first, sorry, in the next half of the year coming, um, ramping up all the way to to two hundred twenty six thousand tons per annum. On Friday, uh, the company put out a, a DFS in relation to that project, the North American Lithium Facility, and and I must say. I found it pretty a curious move to to release a DFS for a project that's already in production. You don't see that very often. In this case, I think it was probably just by virtue of the fact that they were in a, a, a you know a fast track to production um, restart of the North American lithium project. So the previous study in the market was a PFS. They were always doing this DFS work stream, but you know they were also um, just looking to to rush to get this thing up and running. And they put out the numbers for the for the DFS now. It was it was also an asset that they uh, got out of bankruptcy. Is that right? From another company a few years back. So I assume there would have been a DFS a number of years ago. Yeah, the North American Lithium Project was was a yeah was 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 an asset that did enter liquidation at one point. And from from say owners acquisition all the way through to production of that asset, they only it only took them two years. You know, albeit a lot of capex was already sunk there. So yeah. restart was could could be faster than you would ordinarily expect. Um, but back to back to back to Moblin, um, you know this, this is a, a deposit that's that's it's um, it's you know it's quite far away from from the North American Lithium Project, so it's not as simple as just a bolt on. It's 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 a separate potential growth project. Can Accord currently value Sayona's sixty percent share of this uh, project at five hundred and eighty four million, and and they're running a fifteen year, one hundred and sixty eight thousand ton per annum production scenario there, and um, like you know, back back to the sort of growth story. You know, this 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 company they went with the North American Lithium Project. You know, to to actually producing within two years, and and now now they've got like a genuinely good growth story in this Moblin that's beyond just going downstream, like you see with a lot of other um, peers out there, and their, their growth projects are just sort of adding adding more downstream. This is a genuine you know greenfields development, um, and at the moment when you look at this project, they're they're planning for another sixty thousand meters of drilling to come and they're, they're, they're going to bring out a, a PFS in, in May and a DFS by, by October this year. Right. Trav, if you're going to compare, do a peer comparison, Sayona to uh, Lithium Peer, Limetown seems to be the logical peer comparison these days. It's at the higher end. Where does, where's Sayona sitting? I, I, I like to look at, I mean, I mean, it's not a, it's not a, a bad comparison because they're, they're essentially both development plays and and um you know albeit say owners started production again but there's still ramp up risk there of course um line town hasn't hasn't started um production yet but they're in development and and, and are getting close to it so they are i think they are a fair a fair comparison um and, and i look at i look at where that albemarle offer came in for line town it was priced at about 1.38 times consensus broken nav and you, you compare that to where Sayona currently trades at about you know zero point seven times consensus broken nav. It's a pretty substantial value differential. Um, so you know, m- make of that what what you will. Part of that can be um, you know a, a North American value factor, or, or it might be um, just just attributable to the the premium that Albemarle factored into Liontown. Town. 